everyone, and welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. Today on the table, we are playing the one to five player game Scythe, uh, designed by uh, Jamie Stegmeyer and produced by Stonemeyer Games. Uh, myself, Rob, here playing with my wife Melanie. We're doing the two player version of the game, uh, which is, I guess, the same as all the way up to five. Uh, we're playing with no expansions, just the core game. Uh, it's a 4x game, exploration, exploration, expanding, exterminating. And something else I can't remember. Uh, you guys probably know. But, <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, we're going to play through a full two-player playthrough here. We do lots of these on the channel. If you're new here, subscribe. If you like these videos, slap the like button to help other people find them on YouTube. And if you want us to do more Scythe videos like 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, whatever players in the future, when I get a hold of one of the expansions, uh, we'll do that for you guys. If you like these, so if they get enough views and likes, we'll, we'll do that. So share them around on social media. Let other people know this playthroughs here. If, they're, if, you, if you know some other players of Scythe or people are interested in Scythe that uh, you want to show how the game plays, you can watch a few minutes of this video. Uh, if you want to know how to play the video, go check out uh, Watch It Played, uh, learn to play of the video, half hour long. It's really good. I'll link that in the description below. So you can go, about, go and watch that now if you don't know how to play Scythe. And then come back after watching that and you'll be able to follow along. Um, but yeah, we got to set up. We have our uh, location scoring here. We've set up our beginning stuff. we got our faction. So I'm starting with the Crimean yellow faction here. I'm starting with a 5 on the power track, uh, 2 on the popularity, zero combat cards, seven gold, uh, and two random objectives that we've chosen. Uh, Melanie, what faction you got there? I have the Nordic Kingdoms playing mm. with the engineering board. I start with five dollars. I start with two popularity. I have four on the combat. The power. Track. Power, sorry. And then I start with one combat card. Okay, and also I have the agricultural board for those who are interested, so we randomly dealt those out. Uh, we had these factions last game, I think, where you're playing... No, we're no. playing with the factions we haven't played before, actually. Yep. Uh, but we just picked them all up the side, the side of the board, so it's easier for filming and that, and uh, where we're sitting. But we did uh, hand out our little boards, um, our player mats, or whatever they're called, uh, randomly. So uh, let's switch down to the boards, you guys' boards, you guys can see this here. Like I said, we have our power set up here. You can see our starting little meeples, our little cha uh, character popularity up here. We got our little track of achievements over there. And uh, Melanie's the Nordics, the blue starting up here in the north. We got our little resource tokens around on the board to run into our encounters from the encounter deck. We have our little location goal set up here. It is the one uh, for as many lakes as you have structures built beside. You'll get uh, different amounts of gold at the end of the game. And this is set in 1920s East Europa. We're trying to, uh, it's basically after the war. It's an alternate history kind of game with awesome art, obviously. Uh, this game's been out for like a year or so. Really big Kickstarter if you're not familiar with it. Uh, but it's set in uh, post-war 1920s. Uh, there's like a mix of mechs and, and war vehicles and farming and exploring the land and trying to build up your country's faction, whatever, and, and control over this land here uh, to become the leader of Eastern Europa. And that's what we are trying to do. Uh, so objectives, uh, let me just see if I can show you mine here. Uh, so I have this one, I'm going to look away from the computer, so I don't know if you guys can see that, but uh, I don't want to read it out so she doesn't <laughs> know. I hope that you can pause the video and check that out. And then there's the other one, hopefully my shaky hands is that you actually see that. And okay, I'll look down and Mel can... Uh, Look at the computer there and try to show everyone uh, what you got. Okay. All right. So we should be good there with the uh, with the objectives. Um, what is the other thing? Oh, oh our abilities. Yeah. So once per turn, uh, you may spend one combat card as if it were any resource token. Of course, I'm starting with zero. So uh, <laughs> yeah, I got to get some to do that. Okay. And mine is swim. Your workers may move across rivers. Wow, that is very good. <laughs> And I have two on my board. What is your number? Oh, yes. Uh, I'm at five. So oh, you'll be, so I get to go first. Yes, you will be going first. Are we ready to begin or I think else so. To... No, we're good. So there's a little pawn. I'll take that off my board. I haven't gone yet. So here you go. Okay. 
So, I think first I will produce and I will get one oil here. So oil and wood. And I will take one wood here. I'm able to produce on two of my hexes. Okay, ex-heavy workers. So just looking here, you also have metal in your homeland. Yep. Uh, have and workers. No, I pretty much have. Well, you have to get across water, but it's interesting. But, these guys can go across water, yeah. so you're not restricted. So you actually, resources should be pretty good for you up there. Yeah. Uh, I'm curious to see how this goes. <laughs> uh, okay. So I am going that to. That's all for me. Sorry. All right. Sounds good. I will uh, produce also uh, where I am here starting. So I will get one of my workers out here in the village. So two workers on that hex, and I will get some food at the farm. And that is me. I don't have four lumber to build, so that's uh, it's going to take some time. Okay, I will move. So I will move my character here. And I will use my ability to move my worker across the river into this village. Cool. Okay. Um, I will... What do I got over here? It's weird getting used to certain uh, costs and stuff on previous <laughs> boards and then looking down and going, oh, that's going to that's gonna take a few more turns extra to get that going. Um, yeah, I guess we'll uh, trade. I'll spend one uh, and I will take two oil and drop it down here with these workers. And that's all I can do. Go ahead. Okay, I'm going to produce. I will produce, I can produce on two hexes, so I will take a worker here. And I will take an oil here. Nice. And that is all for me. Okay. Uh, I will... Uh, I'm going to move. And that will involve uh, two people moving. So let's get this guy up here. And we'll bring our character out, I guess, here. And then I will do the bottom action. I'm going to upgrade, spending my two oil. And I will gain a one resource or one money one dollar whatever it is in this game uh and then i will upgrade i'm going to upgrade my move action trying to get around the board faster yeah <laughs> definitely and i will try to reduce the cost to build a mech by one okay uh and that is my go your turn okay i will move i will move this worker into this farm and I will move my character here. Okay. I and will do this encounter yep. at the end of my moves. All right, so let's uh, show them here what you get. Uh, slowly upside down. <laughs> uh, hopefully you can see. All right, so you wanna okay. read them off there? So. Okay, I conceive a plan with the patrolling troops in the forest. Gain one combat card and gain one popularity. Relieve the soldiers of some dead weight. Pay $2 to gain any three resources and deceive the soldiers and steal their mech. Uh, pay three popularity to deploy a mech. Well, I do not have enough popularity to do that. Okay, so good. that's not gonna happen. Glad to hear it. <laughs> gain one combat card and one popularity is nice. But this early, I think I'm going to pay two, $2 to gain any three resources. Okay. I'll get that back to you and I will take, I will take, oh goodness, I will take one oil, I, I will take 
Oh my goodness, two wood. Okay. That's my turn. Okay. Uh, I would get food, metal, and a dude if I want. Get food and metal right now. Food and metal. No, nope, I'm gonna go pay one to get two oil. With the trade action, and that is me. Go ahead. Okay. I am going to also trade. I will put this three and take two back. I will take, oh my goodness. I will take two metal. Okay. Anything else? Uh, no. All right. I'm gonna move. we get which reads steer the disoriented mech through the fog with your lantern gain two oil and one popularity option number two is pay the stranded man for his mech four bucks to deploy mech or shout nonsense until the mech comes close enough for you to rob it pay two popularity and gain two dollars and any two resources two oil and one popularity i wish i knew that before i just did the oil purchase <laughs> Um, or I pay four, which I have six, to get a mech straight out on the board. Hmm. Yeah, let's just do the pay four to get a mech going. And Riverwalk would get me across into the oil, which would be good, or into farmland, so that's how I'd get back. I uh, warfare, uh, which moves from territory or home base of any inactive faction's home base, or your own home base. Hmm. Move from a territory or home base to any inactive faction's home base. Okay, that's crazy. I guess. Mm. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, and then I also have scout. I could do, which is before combat, steal one of the opponents. Combat cards at random, which is kind of cool because oh, I need combat cards and speed. I'm actually just going to do the river walk and let's just plop this mech right here. And that is that encounter. And then I'm going to pay two oil for the upgrade action. No benefits to me. Uh, yet. I will get one resource or one money. And the upgrade I'm going to do is, let's do it producing better, I guess. And I'll reduce the cost of my mechs down to two metal only. And that is me, go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna bolster. I will pay one to go up two spaces. On the power? On the power, uh, yep. One, two, up to six. Okay. I will then do my bottom action to build. Mm -hmm. Three wood. Three wood. One, two, and three. Uh, you don't control that spot where that oh, wood was. Oh, okay. So if you want to undo... What did I have? Two and one, right? I think so, yeah. Okay, I see, I see. Uh, no, that's fair. That was my mistake. I forgot. I should have moved first. Yeah, but what did you do first? I just did the bolster. Yeah, so undo the bolster and do a move then. Okay. Is that okay? Sorry. That's your one one take back? No, I'm just joking. Uh, but where was I last time? Yeah, because I didn't move last time. Okay, so I'm going to move. There you go. I'm only going to do one move. That's all. Okay, and not the bottom part at all? No. Okay. 
Uh, well. I always forget to take my resources with me. <laughs> oh, so produce. Um, yeah, let's produce and get two. Or sorry, one food and two metal. And that will be all. That's it? Mm hmm Okay, so now I will bolster. <laughs> so I will again pay one, and now I will go up two. Okay, and now I will do my bottom action as well to build. Okay. And I will pay my three wood. And I'm going to build a mill um, here. That is going to give me three dollars. One, two, and three. And that is all for my turn. Okay. All right, so let's go so pay one. I'm going to do a trade. Let's trade for Do the oil. Uh, okay, um, and then I will spend two metal to do the bottom part deploy to get me another mech. Okay, uh, and one resource, I think, for... Nope, no one resources for deploy. Sorry. Yep, that's good. I'm that's done. It? My bad. All right. I am going to trade. I will pay one. I would like to take two metal. And then I will deploy. So I will pay four metal. Four. To deploy a mech. Uh, this one lets me move across uh, forests and mountains. I can move to and from lakes and retreat into adjacent lakes. Nice. I can, before combat, if you play one power, sorry, if you pay one power, opponent gets minus two. Cool. And plus one. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to take the one that lets me go across forests and mountains. And I will put it here. Deploying that gives me no bonus. Okay. Okay. Um. will take me into oil. And this guy. Yeah. And then I will do the bottom upgrade, pay to oil, and get a resource. 
and I will Oh, I forgot my combat card action. I probably should have been doing that. Oh, but you can use combat. You don't have any. No, I know oh, about but you this. Can get some, yeah, yeah, I should have thought of that. Alright, so I'll upgrade my bolster. And I will reduce my enlistment. Okay. Um, where am I? Then I can, I did that. Okay, here go. Okay, I will produce. I will choose this one to do two oil because of my mill. Nice. My worker. And I will take a food. Cool. Here. And the bottom and action? And I can do the bottom action actually. So I'll take one, two, three. So I will upgrade. Nice. Three oil. When I upgrade, I get two dollars. Ooh. And I will choose this one. So you're going to improve your producing? Yep, so I'll be able to produce on three plus my mill. Three hexes. Okay. Three hexes. And let's do it there. So it costs a little less listen, to enlist. Listen. Yeah. Okay. And that is all for me. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I will do the bolster, which is just upgraded. I'll pay one. Let me get two combat cards off the deck if you do not mind, please. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Alright, first two comic cards. Sweet! And then the bottom part I can do, I have... Oh, I'm not in the area of control, I forgot to bring it with me! Oh, whatever, my bad. You let me take back, do you need to take the pony back? Yeah, sorry, that would, they would've came along. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I'll spend the two. Ah, I'm so dumb. Uh, and then I will... Uh, what am I doing there? Enlisting, which gets me three money. And who do I want to enlist? Hmm. I'll enlist the upgrade one. Or do I do the mech one to get some more money? Hmm. Yeah, let's do the upgrade one. Uh, and that is going to go... Power, man, popularity. I probably should start thinking about that. I'm gonna do combat cards to them, please, since uh, they're like getting stuff. Sweet. Okay. Uh, and that is. I am listed. To, oh, you don't have nope, any done. Okay. Uh, sweet. Okay, you're done. Yep. I will move. Go there. And my I can go I can jump to the mountains in the forest. So this guy cannot go anywhere that way, so he will also join this group. And two food no, that's it for me. Okay. Let's uh produce and I will get one oil and two metal and that will be all. Oh, go ahead. Okay, I will also produce. No, I will not. I will trade. Pay one. I will take a food a wood. And I'll put them here. Good? Yep. Alright. I will trade spending one 
Uh, I think I'm going to go for... Hmm. Let's do one oil. And... Maybe not one oil. Yeah, we'll do one oil. And I'll go... Okay, um, and that was there, so I can pay two metal now. Uh, for the bottom, I'm doing a deploy. Okay. And I will deploy the speed mech. Uh, and I put them up here in this tunnel space there. And now I can plus one of my hex movement of my character or mechs. Okay. Okay, you're good. Yep. Okay, I will move. So, um, leave that guy there. So these guys will cross over into the forest with my mech ability. And this guy will move in here. Okay. Okay, and then I would like to do my enlist action, so I will pay two food. Okay. I will get one dollar. And which one do I want? Hmm. I think I will take... I think I'll take the gold when I deploy, because right now I get nothing. Okay. And I will take two popularity, please. Here, one, two. Okay, we're tied on popularity at four. Did that give you an. Uh... No, I only have the one for de uh, upgrading right okay. now. Okay. I don't have to worry about you when I deploy. Okay. Yeah. And that's all? Yep. Okay. Um, we're going to move. Go uh, one has to stop as there's an encounter there. Uh, Does it have to? Yeah, at any time a plastic moves into one of, or the hero, it would stop on the encounter. Okay. Yeah, you can, even though I have two, like plus one for the speed. Um, so, and this guy is going to take these jokers up here, and then he'll pick up. Let's go there. That guy. So this is one movement. He's moving his two. He picked up uh, these two jokers on the way. And let's say he brought this with him. And then uh, can I move three already? Yes, I can, sorry. Uh, then I will... Uh, leaving one behind. I think is what I want to do, yes. And this will go here with these guys. So one guy moved two spaces, brought the two workers. This guy moved one space only with a worker, and she moved one space and hit an encounter, which I will do right now. And the encounter is doo -doo -doo -doo. all right. So I heard a sheep on the hillside. Uh, sorry, heard the sheep on the hillside for an afternoon. Gain two food and one popularity. Serve a lamb for dinner tonight. Pay two, gain one worker and three food. Uh, or use the sheep to trip up 
a passing mech, pay three popularity to deploy one mech. Hmm, don't like that. I will just gain two food and one popularity. I'm yellow, all right to five. And then bottom action, I do have two oil, which I will upgrade. Yep. And I will get a uh, money. I will go up one on the power track to six. And my upgrade is going to be let's improve power gain and reduce the cost of reduce the cost of building uh, with my wood. And that is me. Go ahead. Okay. I will produce. Mm -hmm. I can produce on three hexes plus my mill. So we'll start here and I will get two food for my two workers here. I will get one oil from my mill. I will get one metal. And that is all I can do with that. And then... I do have three, so I will upgrade. I will pay three oil. And I'm gonna gain a power from that for my little ability here. Okay. Uh, so I'm up to seven. Okay, I will get two dollars. And I will... Hmm. I will take... bolster and I will make it easier to build okay. that is all all right Okay, let's go to the bolster. I'll pay one. No cards or oh, it's only spend one combat card as if it were any one resource. Yeah. Open. Oh, okay. I didn't know if I could just load up. So I'll just do the power. Shoot up to ten. And, and I'll spend a food so I am in the listing. Okay, no. And a combat card. Uh, as the other food. And I'll get three money. And Take two power. Okay, and that is me. Go ahead. I will move. Okay. Those guys will go there. some wood so this guy's gonna go back this way okay and I do have two food so I will also enlist does that give you a bonus uh, nope okay so I will pay two food I will get one dollar and I will enlist upgrade I will take two combat cards okay that's all 
Okay. Uh, I will... Move. One, two. Are you taking the food? Yeah, good call. I guess you could drop it on your... Yeah. Yeah, definitely drop it. Um, hmm. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Two. <laughs> Maybe just one. Um, I'm just kidding. This guy will actually do my little move from a territory or home base to any inactive faction's home base or your own. Uh, it will move up here and then come here, I think. Not for an objective, I swear. <laughs> uh, as I look, uh, yeah. Um, okay, yeah. Cause he has two moves, so I just warp and then one more move with my speed. Um, so that's ending my move. Uh, I will do this to look at the factory cards, which I totally forgot about. And I see you rushing there, and I understand. I'm trying slowly. Okay. Hmm, so here's my options. I was gonna look away. And, uh. Yeah, I'll take, uh. So kind of goofed up here. I'll have to move the board a little bit, I think. And I'll move the picture in picture in a second. And then we can and then just put our little thing down here like this. And I can just move us over the money bin here, which doesn't really matter. That way we can fit in our fifth little factory track thing here. Okay, so what does yours give you? So I can pay two gold or money and I get a uh, building and a popularity wow. and then I can move a character up to a single character up to two spaces but also plus one because of the plus one movement for speed on the mech ability there. That's pretty good. Yeah it is. That's why it was very important for me to get there. Which I totally slept on. Okay. Um, so now what happens in this case? To, oh so yeah I, sorry. I have to go back yeah, home, he right? retreats somewhere legal I think. Oh. oh no, home. Yes, home. Yeah. Other board game I'm thinking of. <laughs> uh, yeah, and the resource stays there. Yeah. Uh, so at the. Oh no, it's not the end of my turn. I think it's. Well, it is still your turn right now. Oh yeah, I think I can do this right now because uh, it's satisfied. So send one back as a warning. Have at least seven power, which I have 12, and complete a move this turn that forces at least one enemy worker to retreat. So I need a star. First star of the game is now on the objectives there. And I will throw my other two away. Or both of them underneath the deck there. Okay, so objective achieved. Um, do you want to do the bottom half? You did all your yeah, moves. Yeah, uh, I don't have any oil. So... Nope, I am good. Okay. I... I'm going to trade. I will pay one. Mm -hmm. I will take. If you can produce it like right there, yeah. that'd be very good. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Oh, okay. I will put two <laughs> metal there. Uh oh, she needs to build up her mech army now. There's, there's combat that could be happening <laughs> soon. Oh no! <laughs> All right, so. And I can't do my bottom action, so you can go ahead. Okay. Um, let's 
let's go. would also be cool for the power combat cards hmm okay let's do Let's go there. I'll pay one. Uh, I will take. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I want to do that. I'm going to produce. Okay, yeah, I'll produce, um, and I will get two wood here, I will get an oil here, and that is that, then the bottom action, I will spend three wood, actually, I'll spend two wood, and use my damn ability I keep forgetting about, to chuck a combat card. The third one is my wild card there. And I'll gain two resources. Oh, I'm the building, by the way, if that nope. makes you nope. You're good. do anything different. I'll gain a popularity for that. And then I will build a monument. Right here. Okay, and that is my turn. Okay, I'll produce. Oh, not move? I'm just joking. Where was <laughs> I? I was just joking for the combat here. I'm just waiting for it. Bring it, bring it. No, but maybe. One of us will run away, I'm sure. Hmm. Not yet. <laughs> ah, no rush. I'll we'll be produce. there all night. <laughs> okay, produce. One metal here. I'll get one oil here. And I'll take that worker. Okay. Okay. And three oil, no. All right. Um. Let's go with bolster. Pay one. One, two, three, and I'll gain a popularity, and then I will spend the one food and the combat card. Two, oh, you get three money. Enlisting? Yep. Okay, no. Two popularity. Okay. That's my turn. Go ahead. All right. This time I will move. <laughs> These guys will cross the water. No. That's two of your movements. Yep. And I have. No more. That's it. Uh, two food? Nope. That is all. Okay. Then we can just walk in and wipe them. Okay. Uh, yeah, I know. I forgot about that. I actually <laughs> just did that move anyway, just to be, just to set you back a little bit. But that's fine. 
Okay. Um, what are we trying to do here? Okay, river walk on to oil places and then farms. You don't have a farm in your homeland. They did that on purpose. Yeah. I cannot bum rush your homeland with just a mech. I have to like think it creative. Maybe not even at all. You don't need to even worry about it. I know. I'm just <laughs> in other games that get aggressive like that. I try to <laughs> just go right for the throat, hit the homeland, start messing with you a little bit and they don't let you cross the river strategically. I see, I see what they've done here. Uh, so I did last this one. Um, could produce, which I probably should. No, I'll do this one actually. I'll spend two. Okay. To get one of my buildings. Could be the armory. Has to go there. That's okay. Okay, armory is built. Um, and go up on popularity. And then I can move a single character up to two spaces, but plus one because of speed. What do I need? This guy will just bring these jokers with him over here so the workers can transport it with the mech. I think only one space. Or. Or does the guy up north there, which I just remembered he's there, do I bring him? One, two, three. Does it come close enough? He can get. He can go through a tunnel. Oh yes, one tunnel, and then three. Like, I don't think he can get where I want him to get quick enough. But this one, one, two, three, can. But I'd have to leave those guys behind, which I think. It's a little dangerous to do that with you so close. Yeah, I'll just do the safer play. I'll move these guys over. You didn't do bottom? Uh, oh, no, you did that. Yes. Oh, okay. So I'm done. Okay. I'm going to produce. I'm gonna get one oil here. I'm going to get one metal here. I'm going to get two wood here. I can produ produce on three as well as my mill. Do not have three oil, so that is all. Okay. Um. If you had enough, can you do the bottom action twice? Or you can no, do no, 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 this one's, yeah, yeah. I know, I always think of that, but no, I don't think so. And if we're wrong, let us know in the comments <laughs> below. <laughs> All right, so this is tough. Uh, combat time, is it? Upgrade. Let's go to trading. I'll pay one and I'll get. Hmm. I'll get two food. I'll put it right there. 
there. And then I'll, oh, I don't have that. So I gotta do, sorry, one food and one metal. I thought I had a metal. Okay. Nope, I'll do the two metal. Yeah, it has to be <laughs> two metal. Okay, two metal. And then at the bottom, I'm now, sorry, uh, deploying. All right, I get a dollar. Sweet. And I spent my two metal. I'll deploy my last mech, who gives me the before combat, steal one of the opponent's combat cards at random from their hand. Yes. Okay, that is my turn go. You need a star here? Oh yes, all my mechs are built, thank you. I don't know if I've missed any others, but I don't think so. I don't think so. All right. Oh, I forgot to gain a thing. Okay. Yes, no, uh, no. I did the trade, right? So that's another star. There you go, sorry about that. That is for this one. Okay. Let's block my, my pawn there. <clears throat> Three stars to zero, Mel. Come on, you gotta, you gotta okay. get some more stars there. That's okay. Working on I'm so far away from three more stars. It's quite a bit. Uh, okay, I'm gonna bolster. I will pay one if you can move me up three down there. One, two, three, up to nine. All right. Okay. Then I will build two wood. Mm -hmm. I get three dollars. One, two, three. What did you build? Sorry? I'm not sure yet. Oh, I just I, I'm sorry. A bolster, you said. Never mind. Sorry, bolster. Oh, bolster. Now I'm building. Yeah. The... Yeah. Uh... So on build, I get a popularity to 11. Okay, I'll do the armory. So right now I'll gain that, correct? Can I build this? I don't. Next time, right? Next time I trade. Next time you do the trade, okay. yes. You'll okay. get that. I will do that here. And that is all. Okay. I will go to bolster, I'll spend one, <coughs> and I will gain two combat cards if you can pass those over, mm -hmm. and one popularity up to 12, and the bottom is the food one, I don't have the food, so I will pass. Pass? Mm-hmm. Okay, I will move. Mm hmm. Hmm, that's not the way I thought. Yeah, I don't know if it's worth it right this second. <laughs> okay. Yeah, as you now I'm thinking, I need to get up this track. I don't want to blow that. I don't need my guys going home. Yeah, I don't need to also let you get some extra stars. And a star, yeah. Combat. So it's true. If I win, but you yeah. could win. Well, you're going to take a card and then. Oh, that's true too. Yeah, it's those cards. Mess. I could use those cards actually. That's yeah. a reminder. Okay, no problem. And then I can't <laughs> do my bottom action, so you can go ahead. Okay. So I am going to. Let's produce two wood, one oil. That's all the guys on the board. Um, and then I'm going to do the build, if that matters for you. Uh, nope. I'm going to spend three wood. Three wood, 
to gain two resources and one popularity. And we're going to put the I guess the mine. No, let's do the mill actually. Yeah, let's do the mill. Okay. Um, and that is me. That's you? Yep. Alright, I will produce one, three. I will do two wood here. Oil here and a metal here. And then I will do my upgrade. Does that do anything for you? Upgrading, yes, I will get a power. Boom, boom, boom. I will as well. <laughs> okay, okay, you're at 10. I will pay three oil. I get two dollars. And I will upgrade the move. I'll do that. Make my building cheaper. Okay. Did you you go? Oh, you didn't get anything for that because you're already too high. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You good? Yep. I'm gonna move. Um. One. Two. Unnecessary. Un. One. River walk into oil. That's two. And three to go through the tunnel. Uh, so that is one, two, three people moving, which I can do. And that obviously ends all their movement. End of the movement. Oh, we're in the same space as the plastic pieces of another faction. So, uh, before combat, steal an opponent's card at random. All right. And combat dial. And cards, I'll take them under the table there. Let me see how many I commit. I can commit up to three combat cards. You can commit up to two. Mm -hmm. And we both have more than seven power, which is the max you can commit on the dial. Alright, I'm ready when you are. Yeah, one second. Okay. Six, I did. Uh, okay, so seven uh, plus 14. So I think oh, I beat you. I didn't even bother. So I got to spend seven on here, six and nine, I believe. And you spent four. One, two, three, four, putting you down to six. And we got to chuck these cards. You get a star here. Uh, yep, for win the combat. Thank you. Yeah. You guys go back home base. And yeah, uh, that was my move. And the bottom is pay oil, which I will do. I am upgrading, if that matters for you. Uh, yep, I'm gonna get one power. Back to seven. I will. Take one resource for upgrading and a power. Ten. And upgrading. Let's reduce the cost to uh, Yeah, we'll just do that. Okay. Uh you go. Okay. I'm going to move. I can move three. So one, two, three. Uh, two food. No, that is all. Okay. Um, let's go. I produce. Three. 
three wood here because of the mill and the two workers. And oil here. And then I will spend two of the wood to build. Okay, I don't get anything for that. I go up a popularity. I gain two resources, which I'll trade one back and get a three. And yeah. building my final building. Which will buildings. And oh, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Because I don't. Oh, because you can't build two I didn't buildings move first. on the same. Yep, which I screwed up. So, so I'll just take my wood back and lose my pop. Actually, I'll still. I'll still do that and gain everything else. I just can't do the build part of it. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, you can you can do that where you just take part of the the things you're given back for paying the cost. So okay. that's fine. Is that all? Yeah. All right. I'll produce. So three. I'll do all three. So one oil here, one wood here, and three men oh. here. Get those mechs on the board, man. Yeah. Oh, you probably have something, have like 16 metal or have <laughs> nine of the same resource yeah. one. I had okay. that one before. All right. And the bottom action? No, I'm not doing that. But I will do this. Monopolize the market, control at least nine tokens of the same resource at the end of your turn. Yeah, yeah. I had that All one right. before. <laughs> that's a pain in the ass, that one. Yeah. It's hard. I think it screwed me up. Uh, so give me your objective cards. You want the faction that can do two, right? Yeah. So. All right. Objectives are complete. Okay. Might have totally sabotaged my game just trying to do that. Yeah, but now you have the, you can get your mechs. Hopefully. Yeah, but that's why I was also asking if I could do two in the same turn. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I don't think so. I don't think so, but. Uh... Yeah, because then you'd just be able to do the top multiple times and I don't, I don't kind yeah. of break it, right? Yeah. The first turn of the game, I'd just be like, I'll spend all my money to get all the resources yeah. I need to do the bottom action all the times. Now I never need to go to that one again. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Um. Oh, I just need one more star to lock it down. So I produced last, and then I did the wood thing. So I need to move, I think, to spread out my dudes so I don't have that problem building again. Yeah, so I'm gonna move. Uh, can river walk into farms. So I will run. That's not a farm. Oh, sorry, I didn't notice this. I was thinking this river only, sorry. That's okay. There's no river there though, nope, right? No, nope. that's straight. Oh man, what am I doing? Like trying to make it more complicated, but yeah, I can't even get in the freaking homelands of places, so what am I thinking? But you can warp there or something, can't you? Uh, oh, yeah. But that doesn't matter, that's fine. Same movement, I just couldn't see because these stupid okay. giant minis were playing on the smaller board. <laughs> the little, little hexes and giant minis. Uh, all right. So let's see here. Uh, bang, and then go backwards here with these two dudes and I can leave the resources there the mills there mm -hmm. so that I'll do strategically and you can do this <coughs> yes 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 so encounter which is this one okay I can go fishing with the soldiers by posing as locals, gain two food and gain one popularity. I can bribe the soldiers for their mech. Pay four to deploy a mech. Yeah, that's not happening. Wait until dusk to invade the camp. Pay two popularity, gain two food and two metal. I will just go with the first one. I'm going to gain two food and one popularity going up to 15. And the bottom is the 
the oil business, which would be the final upgrade to end the game. Do I think I'm in a decent spot? Yes, yes I do. So I am going to uh, use my wild card ability to do an oil. Check my last combat card, which is the two I stole from you. Mm -hmm. To gain one, go up a power. What'd you do, upgrade? And upgrade. I go up a power. So you have a power and my upgrade, final one, right, is going here. And final star, hit and upgrades, which starts the end game. Scoring. Now, I've never seen it that lopsided. That's pretty crazy. I'm sorry. That's okay. Okay. It's a game. Yeah, this is what can happen sometimes, I guess. Um, but uh, we're going to add it up. But if you see anything that we did kind of weird or something inefficient or maybe Mel could have done a different strategy... Uh, this is our, both our first time playing with these factions, but if you have uh, some recommendations, let us know. Uh, but we're going to go to the end game scoring here. Um, so, uh, I guess I'll start. Um, so I get 5 for every star. So that's 6, so I get 30, correct. Mm -hmm. And then uh, across here I will get 4 for every territory I control. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because three for the factory. Eight, nine. So nine times four is 40. 44. Nope, 33. I 45. Can't. 45. Oh man, I'm. Ugh. No. No. Nine times four. <laughs> 10 times 4 is 40, so mine is 36. 36. Oh 36. It's late. Yeah, yeah, we're, uh. <laughs> yeah. Math genius is here. <laughs> All right, uh, then three for every two resources, which I have only oh, maybe two. Maybe that's long. how I'll win the game. Yeah, I was thinking that. <laughs> no, yeah, it's so falling behind. A, I get one. So I get three coins for that, uh, and then down here, building beside rivers uh, or lake. Sorry, I've got one lake, uh, two lakes, three lakes on lockdown. So I get four resources. Which I'll trade in a one for a five. That's the ten you just took. Oh, I'm cheating. Uh, five <laughs> over here. Okay. That's okay. You're gonna win anyways. I don't think it matters. Uh, so two ten for twenty. If you want to start, go ahead. All right. So for every star, I get three. I have one, so I get three. Easy math for me. All right. So for every territory, I get two. So two, four, six. Five, six. And for every two, I get one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And I get two, four, no, yeah, for this one. So I get two. And. All these ones are definitely not going to equal the 60 that you have there. Yeah, that's true. I mean, quick. Um, so I'll switch to the side here. Four, five, six, um, so yeah, this is uh, Scythe. Uh, pretty cool two-player game. Uh, I've played twice before. It's a lot closer than this, though. Um, so I found this very weird. A little lopsided. But like I said, let, let us know in the comments below if there's something uh, we could have done differently. So what did you end up at now? 29. 29. I ended up with... 76 which in the book it does describe like 75 ish is like the average winning uh total uh yeah but it's a really cool game i'm looking forward to playing it with more players so make sure you subscribe and stay tuned to rob's gaming table for that we'll have it up in a playlist uh, when we do more so you want to be notified hit that little alarm bell button beside the subscribe button to be notified next time we go live or post more videos and uh like i said before slap that like button if you want to see more scythe on the channel and share these around on social media if you want to help other people find them to get us to know what we should do next uh, and post based on the views and that kind of thing and feedback um but yeah mel what do you think about scythe i like it yeah it's different every time we play
Yeah, with I the, find that too. With the variation of uh, random boards and what faction you're playing is different every time, and yeah, it definitely shakes it up. It's uh, I like the I like the replayability, like you said, with the whole different boards. Like I get used to looking at my board for movement. It's in a different spot, and then the costs of building and deploying are different. And then obviously the home base factions have different resources to start with, and of course the different mech abilities and just obviously random uh, encounters happening, different objectives every game, different combat cards coming off the deck. Different starting power and popularities. I can see it being kind of crazy once you got four, five, six, seven, eight, or seven people in, and yep. everybody's kind of attacking and trying to get all the resources that they need. I agree. Could be a big mess. Yeah, I'm looking forward <laughs> to doing that. Uh, I love games like that, like when we play Sons of Anarchy and Game of mm. Thrones, and we jam everyone on a, on a map, and it sort of gets really tight, and everyone's all tense and fighting and negotiating and that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, I could see negotiating possibly happening then. I can't really see two players in negotiation, yeah, but... I could have offered you money, I guess, to like get away from me here, but I was ready to fight. But you could have maybe done the same as pay me to say, you know, leave me alone but for a couple But I turns. knew... But I would backstab you and yeah, say not but do that. So it's, it's hard with two You players. also, because of your faction, you could get rid of cards. Oh, steal a card, yeah. Okay? No, 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 no. You could get rid of cards for resources. Oh, yes, Now, yes. the two times you did that, you got rid of threes. So letting me know your cards are at least four or five. Oh, true. Right? Yes, yes. And as you saw, you took I a, got two. a two. Yeah. I still have a two, <laughs> and I played a two. So there was oh. no way I was winning that. Oh, okay. And you were higher than me. Yeah, so I was like, like two fours and a five. Yeah. So I felt very like confident. And then when I got above seven, and, and then I just started pushing, I was like, I may have to be in two combat. So I thought, let's get high on the on the track there, so I can do a couple combats and blow seven each yeah. time. But I was hoping to hit the top before that happened. So I was rushing for that. Yeah. Uh, power and that just gets you a star right so yeah. so i pretty much knew i would have lost if i had gone into a fight yeah. so i was kind of like okay well i'm not but gonna... sometimes not maybe just maybe i if i'm sitting here at like i thought you would have hit me when i was at like 13 or 12 or whatever um that's a good time to come at me because then if you know i'm spending it i'm gonna drop down and like that star is now but even if you didn't spend it and you spent your five you're still so much higher than me yeah, with my true. two true 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 right true. that i would still have to play that much more of mine and go down so f you know very true yeah that the i just card thing, yeah, yeah I just knowing that you at least had four and fives in your hand really made me think about what i was doing yeah it's cool actually i should have dumped like a, a dumping like a four in there makes somebody think yeah like but then you're I, sitting on five and, right? yeah true yeah that's true. a good idea i never thought of it like that i just try to dump my most uh, least efficient ones and all i had was three fours and fives and even yeah. Had twos. yeah um but yeah, that was only about an hour to play that two-player uh, game. We found it's about an hour to 90 minutes-ish uh, once we got going and knew what we're doing. I find so, it's getting faster now that we... 100%. So we if this is a game them. you're looking to play just two-player with a friend or your wife, uh, you know, if you have an awesome wife like me who plays games, uh, yeah, you can get this done in like an hour to an hour and a half if, once you guys know what you're doing. And yeah. uh, it's still pretty awesome. Like, you still can get in each other's faces. Uh, the fact that it has this factory in the middle that counts as three locations and gets you these cool ability cards to extend your board here with another choice um makes that factory in the center of the board like a, a reason for people to come out of their their little shell in their homeland to then kind of like you know be in each other's faces be very close to each other's uh properties and then you start figuring like i may have to defend or fight or get aggressive um or protect my wealth yeah um but yeah i don't know what else to say uh scythe uh, look forward to more Scythe on the channel. So like I said, subscribe, like, comment, share. And if you want to donate to the channel, do so in the comments below. Uh, no, like you'll see not in the comments. Or in the <laughs> description below. Uh, there's a link to the donation link if you want to support the channel like so many others have. We're awesome. Helping us out here. And like I said, we're trying these new mics out and our new audio capture device. Uh, so hopefully that makes the sound a little better. And you can hear people who talk a little quieter. And it kind of levels things out, hopefully. Um, so yeah, let us know. And hopefully it's working out. But... Uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.